All right, guys, we have a good project today. Uh, EcoWorthy sent us their dual axis solar tracking system. Uh, we want to improve our solar array, and this is gonna be a great option. All right, guys, so we get a lot of wind up here on top of the hill. Uh, it's very important that you build a strong base. We're going to use this 12 inch sauna tube buried in the ground, uh, four foot, and we're gonna mount the uh, solar array to that. So Jenny's gonna move the firewood here. I'm gonna pick out a perfect spot for that and start digging a hole. All right guys, after about a half hour digging that hole, I got it a little over four foot deep and it will help hold this sauna tube a little higher right there. Guys, I put just a little bit of sand on the side so it doesn't move. And then we'll start pouring concrete into it. All right guys, we have our base here for the tracking system. Uh, it's also got the brackets or railing for the top part for where the solar uh, panels will mount to. So I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna get bolts put in this and then sink them into the concrete while it's still wet. That way uh, I don't have to drill holes and put adhesive in and all that other stuff. So here's our pillar. Or Make sure you thing. put it in the right way too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's marked uh, with directions, you know, north, south, east, west. So we're going to get the bolts into the base of this. They give you expansion bolts uh, in the kit, but I don't have a hammer drill or impact drill to drill out concrete. And if I don't have a tool, I could always rent one or buy one, but and you could do that. But I like to make things work my way. So I have the bolt with the washer, and then this is gonna be in the concrete, so it should hold in the concrete good. Didn't know where I was going, so I just stick her straight down in there. Put it like right there, just kind of hold it for a minute. Mm Alright guys, so now we just wait for concrete to dry. I wait 24 to 48 hours till that hardens up and we're good to go. We can assemble the rest. It didn't take 100 hours. He thought it was going to take 100 hours. Well, we did the easy part. Dig a hole and put concrete in it. You said I wanted to work 100 hours today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's been 24 hours since we poured the concrete and set the bolts in the concrete. We're going to tighten up the base, fill in the sand, and pack it in real good around the base, and then get the racking set up.
All right, guys, rain delay, but probably good rain delay. We've got almost everything done, so other than the panels, and we're not doing the panels today anyway. So we're not putting the panels on there today anyway because we want the concrete to dry for a couple more days. All right, guys, it's been a couple days since we uh, poured the concrete, and we're ready to hook up the controller to the battery, the sun sensor, and the wind sensor, and then put the panels on and get it rolling. So let's do it. Sunny day. Woohoo! They include the one bracket to install the light sensor, the sun sensor, goes on the right top edge there. Jen was right, I was wrong. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Let's get it put on. I'm video proof now. <laughs> goodness <laughs> yeah. I guess you got to be prepared if you turn the power on that it's gonna just automatically start working I have the panel set up. It's been set up for about an hour, hour and a half. I've been fiddling with the parameters and all the settings and it seems a little overwhelming at first but once you kind of read it a few times it makes more sense. Uh, you have to change a couple of the parameters uh, timing up a little bit so it doesn't move so frequently. Uh, I don't have the solar panels hooked up to anything yet. I'm going to run some extensions and actually run it to a solar power station and see what kind of juice we're getting out of those six uh, 195 watt panels. So we have about 1200 watts of panels up there now. And uh, yeah, we're excited to have this additional power. So hopefully we get some sunshine, get this thing rolling tomorrow for you guys or the next couple days and watch it do a whole day's worth of work. So keep an eye out for that. Give us a few more minutes. Uh, I want to go show you how much sun we're getting with the dual axis 
solar array, the tracking system that can automatically adjust to where the sun's at. Uh, we got 1200 watts of solar panels, six 195 watt panels. And I wanna show you what, I haven't looked at this in about an hour or two. Had it sitting here since about eight o'clock. We get full sun in this spot at eight o'clock in the morning. Getting 940 watts out of that. 940 watts. We can hook this dual axis tracking system up to our solar bank. We're gonna hook it up into our solar shed and that'll double our solar intake. So even on cloudy days, this will double up our cloudy day intake. Lots of extra power now. All right, guys, we've had the eco-worthy dual axis tracking system set up for a few weeks now. We've really enjoyed having it. It's been super helpful to keep our stuff charged. We've tracked it multiple days and it does exactly like it says. It gives you about 40% increased efficiency. We have 10 to 12 hours of constant sun where it's pointing in the optimal direction as opposed to our fixed stationary system that doesn't get full sun until about noon. It can give us uh, almost triple the solar in input is just our one stationary system because it's gonna be pointing in an optimal direction. So it's going to help keep our batteries charged even during the winter. So if you guys would like to check out the dual axis tracking system from EcoWorthy with 1200 watts of solar panels, please check out the links in the description box below. I'm sure EcoWorthy will give us a discount code there as well and save you guys a few bucks. Uh, I was really impressed with this system. I'm really impressed with the affordability of it. Check it out, guys. We appreciate you letting us tell you about the dual axis tracking system from EcoWorthy. Uh, I think it's a great asset. I really do. And it's going to uh, make it so you don't have to have as many panels. You can have this system, and it will make the most efficient use of them. So uh, thanks again, EcoWorthy, for sponsoring this video. Uh, we appreciate you guys for letting us tell you about EcoWorthy and the system. And we'll see you on the next video.